Hey, what's up, guys? This is Teacher Ben. Uh, ma, ma shlam chal. Uh, okay, so here I am with another uh, lesson about the uh, Temple of Jerusalem. Uh, this one is Temple of Jerusalem Key People. Uh, this is my second installment in the ongoing series. So we are focusing today's lesson on a character named David. You know uh, most Christians and and Muslims know know David quite well. Um, okay, so there is basically again, you know, uh, we're talking about uh, 900 uh, BCE, uh, and really uh, the historicity is challenged very extensively. Uh, we do have a few uh, a few. Uh, uh, written articles that mention him such as ancient near east or tell dan steel but again uh the conclusion is we don't really know the historicity what we do know is what the bible says and what the curon says okay so um okay so david uh gains fame by killing goliath it's a well-known story um he is he is uh known for being uh, being good at playing the harp and being a shepherd boy, uh, kills Goliath. Uh, Saul, the first king of Israel, uh, he was essentially uh, allowing David to be one of his favorite, favorite, favorite fellows. But uh, eventually, David has to go into hiding. I do remember a, a church uh, sermon about this, uh, and David has to go into hiding because. Uh, Saul is very paranoid that David is trying to take the throne and for good reason because David will get the throne eventually okay but back to uh, back to what's going on with Saul right now uh, Saul and his son Jonathan get killed in battle David is anointed king uh, by the tribe of Judah and eventually all the tribes of Israel. He conquers Jerusalem, makes it his capital of a united Israel, and brings the Ark of the Covenant to the city. That was the good stuff he did. Uh, he starts making a few mistakes, but ultimately he is uh, remembered as one of the more uh, uh, better leaders we had uh, during this era of of the te first temple first temple and second temple of jerusalem uh he does commit adultery with bathsheba and arranges uh the death of her husband uriah the hittite okay uh okay so now uh david is king but his son absalom tries to overthrow him david uh david leaves uh, jerusalem and returns when absalom Absalom is dead so and David is uh, conveniently able to continue his reign okay so David desires to build uh, a temple to Yahweh uh, we assume that is the uh, temple of Jerusalem uh, but is denied of the bloodshed in his reign uh, he dies at the age of 70 and chooses his son Solomon who does build the temple of Jerusalem uh, now Solomon is his son from Bathsheba, so we see some imperfections with David already. Uh, so um, Solomon is the successor, and he he denies his oldest son with his legitimate wife. Uh, his son's name was Adon Adani Jah Adani Jah. Okay, um, and Adani Jah is denied the the throne and we are and we and david gives it to solomon all right uh, so david is honored as an ideal king and the forefather of the of the hebrew messiah and in jewish prophetic literature and many psalms are attributed to him all right so david is also richly represented in post-biblical jewish written and oral tradition and referenced in the new testament okay so uh early christians do uh reference uh the life of jesus jesus of nazareth uh in light of references to the hebrew messiah and to david okay uh 
Jesus is described as being directly descended from David. Okay, so this is written in the Gospels. Now let's talk about the Curon. Okay, uh, Curon and Hadith. Okay, so David in these books and in these in this religious in this religion is described as an Israelite king and a prophet of Allah. Okay, the biblical David has inspired many. Uh, has inspired many. Uh, so, um, yeah, so there you have it. That is my second installment in the ongoing series of Temple of Jerusalem. Uh, key figures. Uh, stay tuned for more short lessons in the future. Much longer lessons will be coming soon uh, to stay up to date, date on these and get notified when the longer videos will be posted. Please like and smash that subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you soon. Have a nice day. This is Teacher Ben. Lay it, lay it, try out. <laughs>